What's up, tax savers? Today I want to discuss some common audit red flags. Uh, first, in a bit in your business, and then and then on your personal return. And so, the first and biggest audit red flag, if you're an S corporation or an LLC taxed as an S corporation, is not having officer compensation. And so we've, we've talked about the major benefits of forming an S corporation to eliminate that self-employment tax. Having a officer wage with payroll tax is sort of the bone you throw the IRS in exchange for forming that S corporation. And so you wanna make sure, while you want it to be the lowest justifiable wage possible, that you still have some form of officer compensation on there. Uh, another business audit red flag is related to, and it varies depending on the industry you're in, but if you have any specific expense category that's outside of the norm, the range that the IRS has on that business code um, in, a, in a business expense, it'll trigger a flag. And so you wanna make sure that if you spend a lot compared to the industry average or taking a lot of deduction, that you've got substantiation for, for all of those things. Uh, the most common audit red flag from a normal business expenditure standpoint is if you have really high meals and entertainment. So if you're in a business that does have a lot of meals and entertainment, make sure you do an extra good job of documenting those using the taking pictures of receipts with your phone, logging those and actually having the full substantiation where you're writing down who you met with and what business purpose you discussed. Uh, the, you keep on coming by, it's okay. Uh, another, a third audit, audit flag is in relation to uh, particularly Schedule C's where we're taking uh, and not just putting one line item as auto and truck, but running the business percentage uh, calculation is having 100% business use on your vehicle. That can trigger an audit flag. Uh, and then uh, looking back to a Schedule C, if you have kind of those fun businesses like a travel agency, most commonly a photo business, you know, photography business, or you know, anything that kind of be, can be like a fun slash hobby business, uh, having losses consistently year over year in a hobby style business can trigger an audit because they, they're looking for those hobby losses. The rules on hobby losses, which we can dive into in a whole separate video, uh, but just generally speaking, you want to show profits in at least three out of the last five years if you've got a business that can be kind of construed as a hobby. Now, if you're selling insurance and you have a loss, no one's selling insurance just for the fun of it. So you're okay to have a loss on that. Other kind of personal audit flags is having too high of charitable contributions for your income. So if you're making $50,000 a year and you've got $40,000 of charitable contributions, unless you're really, really generous, it's probably not the case. Uh, just, just strictly logistically, right? So having really high charitable contributions can throw and trigger an audit flag. Um, and as we t discussed before in previous videos, having a Schedule C instead of an S corporation, you're almost eight times more likely to be audited as a sole proprietorship than you are as an S corporation. Uh, so let me just check my notes, make sure I've got them all covered here. Uh, actually, taking alimony as a deduction can potentially increase your audit risk. For whatever reason, the IRS just likes to audit, audit alimony. And then deducting rental losses can increase your audit risk. You still want to take those if they're legit losses, but it's just something that can potentially increase your audit risk. So that was a whole slew of items that can potentially increase your audit risk. They're, your audit risk is still low. Uh, as I mentioned, 2.3% if you're a sole proprietor, 0.4% if you're an S corporation. If you're just a W-2 employee, with an itemized deduction, I think it's around 1% right now. So there's your audit flags. If you've got any specific questions, go ahead and, and shoot me a message or drop something in the comments, and we'll see you next time.